is this type of event so important? This event uh, specifically is, is, like I said, our main planning event. So this gives us the opportunity to sit down and hash out some of the more uh, detailed events and scenarios and planning procedures really that need to go into the actual exercise. So um, this is this is the event that we use to get most of, if not all, of the exercise planners in. Uh, we can work on our interoperability while we're here, making sure that everyone's linked up on the same ideas, same plan for the whole scenario to play out. When is this event that the exercise and uh, What's going to happen and when is it? Okay, the uh, exercise is slated to take place in March of 2014 uh, and it's designed primarily to work on the interoperability of all the West and Northwest African countries. Um, specifically, we're looking for them to work on their ability to uh, communicate from one maritime operations center to the other, be able to pass information along regarding illegal arms smuggling, uh, narcotics, um, illegal fishing, all those types of things that, that pose a threat to those North and West African countries, uh, the ability for them to work together and counter them as, a, as a, almost an entire um, I guess region of Africa. Um, so that's the big purpose behind the exercise. The, the majority of uh, what we're doing here is, like I said earlier, building on the relationships. You know, that's one of the big sidebars to the whole exercise is just being able to work well together with countries whose you know, uh, culture is very different from ours, whose language is very different from ours, whose everyday operations are very different from ours. But by us working together in things like the main planning event, the final planning event, it, uh, it furthers our ability to work with them on an everyday kind of uh, basis in a real world kind of thing. So we have uh, planners from Morocco, we have planners from Mauritania, we have planners from Senegal and Cape Verde. Um, all of them are exercise planners. They all come from either that specific country's Coast Guard or that specific country's Navy. Um, so they have a lot of knowledge on how this has been executed and how this applies to a real world event. Today we discussed a lot. We've discussed everything from uh, the scenarios themselves, how they'll unfold, how the uh, maritime interdiction teams will board vessels, why they're going to board the vessels. Uh, right now, uh, they're discussing the ROE, the rules of engagement. You know, we literally build the exercise from the ground up. From you know, what's going to be on the target vessel? Is it going to be illegal fish? Is it going to be illegal arms? To the the rules of engagement. Like I said, right now they're working on literally developing what the ROE will be for each MEO team or for each country. Can they go in territorial waters? Do they need to? Uh, get confirmation from their maritime operations centers before they go aboard. All that stuff we develop here at the, 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 exer the event exercises, or excuse me, the, uh, the event uh, planning sessions. And, and that's, you know, that's what we're doing, is making this scenario as, as realistic and, and accurate as possible.